guys another one of these videos that I feel like I needed to make um, a little bit delayed on it um, it's because I've been filming some other stuff for you guys um, that whole Winnie the Pooh blood and honey and my problem with studios nowadays that came out a few days ago um, I have my Ghostbusters review probably coming later this week for you guys um, a couple other things still working on some music still but uh, I feel like this is kind of something I needed to talk to our talk about as well. Because uh, I've seen a lot of my people that I watch on YouTube who are movie reviewers and film critics talk about it. And there's two parts to this. First part is I just want to talk about movie criticism in general and as a whole. Because I feel like more and more it's getting... To the point where people are, I don't want to say like getting, I, I guess, I, I guess this is how it worded is like, is movie criticism dying? And, and cause like, is it needed? I guess, I, I guess that's what, how I'll put it. Because I've seen more and more people saying and getting mad that like, people give criticisms and their honest opinions and you know not everyone's going to agree with that but they always take it out on people when they don't deserve it and so like i'm just wanted to talk of, that's the first thing i'm going to talk about do i think movie criticism is necessary anymore um yes i do because when you watch i don't know when you watch any one of your favorite youtubers or you watch any one of your favorite like movie critics we call them which i'm technically one of those i'm not as big as the other ones but i just do I, I i am that now that is part of my channel and that's what you guys come for and so when you are a movie critic and you review movies there are multiple things that you make sure you do so the first thing is you review the good the bad and the ugly because you want to give like for me i want to give you guys my honest opinion of a movie whether it's the good the bad and the ugly so you can have a better understanding of what you want to go out and spend your money on and what you don't want to spend your money on and what you want to see and what you don't want to see and i feel like that's that's very important because most people are not going to want to go see every movie and if you like a youtuber that's a film critic and you see that they don't like a movie then you can form your own opinion on it and you don't have to go. And if you see that they do like it, you're like, hey, you know, I might want to check that out. So I think movie criticism is good because of that reason. I also think it's good because if you don't review a movie and it's whole, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you're only giving people one side of yourself. One side of you as a movie critic. One side of you as your opinions on a movie. If you only review the good side of movies, then you don't get that other end of the spectrum that comes with being a movie critic, a movie reviewer. So I think that movie criticism and movie critics and movie reviews are necessary to people, to my audience, to everyone's audience out there, whoever you guys watch, so you, we can give you a good opinion and, a, and form a good understanding of if... A movie is good or if it's not talking about the good the bad and the ugly and then you guys can kind of form your own opinions and go from there so that was the first part the second part is this kind of leads into it and i'm sure you've seen other people talk about it that are bigger film critics than me but um i want to just touch base on it because i am someone who does this i am in that community so i feel like it's important for me to touch base on it but the Chris Stuckman controversy. Um, first, let me say off the bat, I have been watching Chris Stuckman for a while. He probably is one of the first people I watched when it came to movie reviews and probably one of the main reasons I got into it. Um, I will say he had always been upfront and honest when he did movie reviews. And uh, he, he, uh, he, he has been doing it longer than anybody else. And he has gained a lot of subscribers and he is like on this level he is and good for him good for him for grinding and getting earning that because he deserves it so that's the first thing i'll say 
So people are mad because there was a video that came out on uh, Chris Stuckman's channel, I think a few days ago, or like a week or two ago, that said, we need to talk about this or something we need to talk about. And it was him kind of like with a thinking face with Madam Web like over here in the thumbnail. And in this, in this video, now the important thing to remember is about, I think about two years ago, he had said that he was done being a movie critic. He was just going to talk about the movies he liked. And he was going to be kind of a, a a channel that celebrates movies. That celebrates the good of movies. Because he's actually a filmmaker. I don't know if you guys have seen this project coming out. But it's called Shelby Oaks. I'm very excited for it. Um, I, I love when YouTubers can kind of branch out. And be able to do stuff like that. I think that's really cool. So I would be checking it out. But he had said about two years ago I believe. That he was done being movie critic done being done doing what he 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 had been doing and he was just going to be a movie celebration a movie channel that only looks at the good of movies which is completely fair i mean completely fair to have your own opinion on that now if you want my honest opinion i don't see any value in that for the reasons i i gave you guys um but good on him good good on him for doing it and i support him for doing it but the controversy kind of came, like all controversies come, it got blown out of proportion, a clip got edited out and spread on Twitter and X, and it was everywhere, and it kind of got out of the movie critics, like, slash review, like, circle of YouTube, and it went everywhere, it was mainstream, and so in this video, I watched it, now the people who spread this clip around obviously did not watch it, because... He didn't say anything bad. He didn't say anything negative. He didn't say he wasn't going to review it. Like, all this video was was him talking about studio interfer interference, which I believe is another video for another day that I have to cover because there are a lot of movies <laughs> that come out that you can tell are, are constantly interfered with with the studio. And so we'll get into that another day. But he made a video talking about studio interference and what could have happened on the set with the actors, actresses, script, all that stuff with Madden Webb. Which is true. I mean, Sony could have been up there, you know what. Um, I mean, this isn't for good, so I'm, you know. But uh, they could have been up there. Uh, but, but um, who knows? We don't know. But he was talking about how studio interference can, could have impacted and affected affected that movie uh, essentially and people are mad and upset because they're saying in the video he said that he won't review Madam Web which is not the case he said he's not going to review it normally like he used to he just talked about studio interference and so if you go back two years ago like I said he had he had been up front about this and so I think people just blew away out of proportion I think he didn't, he never said he was not going to review it. He just said he wasn't going to review it normally, like he usually does. Um, so I think that got blown way out of proportion. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk about that a little bit and talk about movie criticism in general. Um, because I feel like nowadays a lot of people are kind of misunderstanding what a movie critic is. Like... They think that we just like to crap on bad movies, which is not the case. Like, I don't want to sit here and like what I did the other day and just crap on Winnie the Pooh, Blood, and Honey. But I like giving you guys my honest thoughts, whether it's the good, the bad, or the ugly. I don't like seeing a studio fail. I don't like seeing a project fail. I don't like seeing actors and actresses fail. I, I'm rooting for everybody in Hollywood. I'm rooting for people to succeed. I'm rooting for good movies to be made with heart and passion and soul and drive behind them. But that's not always the case. Some studios, like I explained in my last video, are only there to make a quick buck. And once they have your money, then they don't care. They'll, they'll release a movie just to make the money and there'll be no passion, no love, and no effort behind it. And I, I hate that because you're, you're essentially paying money for something that is not going to give you 
back what you gave to them, which is your time and your money. Like, you could spend that anywhere else. Instead, you know, you, you chose to give this movie a chance. And they sit there and they screw you. And I, I, I like I said, that was a whole other video for another day. But I think I do want to talk about studio interference because there have been multiple movies that have come out that I've seen that I'm like, what the heck happened there? And I mean, you can obviously tell there's studio interference, but just in general, I feel like that's a good topic to talk about. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get on here, talk about movie criticism, talk about uh, a little bit more about what I talked about the other night, and talk about the Chris stuff. And stuff. Um, so the studio interference video will be out this week along with the Ghostbusters review. I might do, I might rewatch Ghostbusters Afterlife and review that before the new one comes out. I'm not sure, but I got uh, tons of content coming this week as always for you guys. So keep it locked and uh, we're trying stuff new. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna try to make more of these videos. Let me know in the comment what kind of stuff you guys want me to talk about, whether it's stuff in Hollywood, it's movies, it's studios, it's actors, it's whatever. Whatever you guys want to see, you know, why do studios make sequels that don't need to be made? Like, whatever you guys want me to talk about that's outside the realm of just regular movie and TV reviews, leave in the comments, and we will for sure do that. Anyway, uh, have a great night. Peace, love, positivity as always. See you guys later.